Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois, and a Rod and Staff Union. How are you? I hope that you had a wonderful time celebrating the light, the return of the light, or the retreat of the light, whichever way you uh, celebrate it. So we just passed through the solstice. We just had a holiday for a lot of people in a lot of parts of the world, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. So now we're coming out on the other side here, and there is still the prep of getting into 2018. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about is letting the light in. And when you are letting the light in, you feel it deep in your body. Now for some people, this is just starting up for you. So are you on a twin flame journey? If you have felt drawn to this or you clicked on it or it popped up on your computer, the chances are yes, you are. And there are things to know about it. And one of the things to know is that you matter and your body matters. That's going to be the focus for 2018. So I have my next segment coming up, but I just want to talk to you about a few things because the things where you will be feeling affected will be the breathing, the areas of you that breathe, and it'll be up here, and it'll be here, and even parts of your back where the nerves are connected to the parts of you that help you breathe. It can, but what does it translate to as? Okay, because that's the thing that throws people off. Sometimes people will get a cold for no apparent reason. They weren't around people, suddenly they're sick. Or a sinus infection, or an earache, an ear infection. It's also going to be your hips. It's going to be the lower abdomen. For men, it will be your reproductive areas. That's some parts of the cycle that we're now going into here. On both gender bodies, for both people, for both men and women, regardless of what type of uh, orientation you are, if you are two men, if you are two women, if you are a man and a woman, if you are trans, the eyes, the eyes on both. Now, there is some good news here. The time is over for anger or disbelief. So some of you, you have felt absolutely in suspense. In suspense and the suspension of your disbelief. Where you don't know which end is up, what to do, where to go. And a lot of that started at the eclipse in August. Now here in the United States we had a major giant grand annular solar eclipse that cut a swath from Oregon to South Carolina. I saw it in person and let me tell you it makes you want to be an eclipse chaser. There's another one coming in 2019 in Argentina and seven years from now it's going to pass through the same parts of Illinois. But what does that have to do with it? That was a closure. The solstice was another segment of that where the time for the anger is over. Now a lot of people have been feeling their anger popped out and welling up from just they don't even know where. And it's been very upsetting for them. The time for the anger is over. Okay? And there's things to know about it too because it has to be different now. The disbelief, believing that this isn't real or this can't possibly be real or did I imagine this or I don't seem to get a response from the other side, maybe I was wrong. And no, you're not wrong and you're not crazy. There are reasons for it. So one of the, one of the things that I did feel after the eclipse was this song. Dim all the lights, sweet darling, cause tonight it's all the way. And what is the solstice in the Northern Hemisphere? It is the longest night of the year. 
And I don't know about you, but I felt it was really long. It actually felt like it was in three segments. It was a really long night. Are you getting woken up at night? I know what that's about, and I have ways to help you get rest. Did you sleep in heavenly peace for the holiday? Maybe, maybe not. Do you want to? Do you want to sleep in heavenly peace in the arms of your beloved, in the white light of your own light? Yes, the answer is yes, because that will truly refresh you. And that's what I'm going to talk about. The other thing that I talk about in part two, so this is love for the holidays and the new year. Part two, I'm going to be talking about the houses of abundance. Okay, now some of you are familiar with houses from astrology or even from that song. When the moon is in the seventh house, what does the seventh house mean? The seventh house is the house of partnership. Partnership. And that's a big thing because twin flames are each other's partners. What does that mean, the house of partnership? Okay, what does that mean, your houses of abundance? There are several areas in which you are intended to have your abundant flow back. If you don't feel like you've got your flow, you don't have your mojo, you don't have your rhythm, if it looks lopsided in your union where you're flat out and your twin is thriving or you feel you're thriving but your twin just actually seems to be skirting along there, scraping the bottom, and you don't know how to help them. Because there is a thing to know. You are attached to this person. If they are scraping bottom, they will drag you. If you are not cognizant of them, you will become aware of them, and there are things that you'll know. There may be things you don't want to know. There's all things that we don't want to know. But what do angels do? Angels are able to see the dark and still be the light right in the presence of anything that's dense, negative, low vibe, and, you know, God knows we are still seeing some of that. So, do you want to get more light and love in for the holidays, for the new year? Do you want to know about your houses of abundance and get your abundant flow going? Because there are ways to do this, and it's very different than in the old paradigm. The law of abundance doesn't necessarily work for twin flames in the same way. And there are reasons, and it has to do with your body matters. It has to do with breathing. A lot of people, if you can't catch your breath, you feel it. If you feel that your breathing is being constricted here, if you have a heaviness on your heart, If you have the heaviness in your gut, you're going to know it. So, if you want to talk about the houses of abundance, I am going to be doing part two on December 27th at 8 a.m. Now, I'm going to have a little translation of these because 8 a.m. corresponds to um, 2 p.m. in the UK. It's the afternoon. Um, The other one, 12.28 at 5 p.m. Now, this would be good for people in Australia, the 28th. That would be your 29th in the morning, if you can make it. And the 30th at 8.30 a.m., which I hope would be possible for many people in the U.K., in the United States. That falls on a Saturday, and it's right before New Year's Eve. So, if you don't have some plans, what I do is... I have a short presentation. I open the floor for question and answers and I get guidance. If there is something specific to you, I make notes and I reach out to you. If you are um, having certain questions, you know, there are things that I do talk about in the presentation. Lots of answers come through there. Okay. The other thing to know is that I do lead you through opening your channels and receiving the light and the love that you are not from a bunch of people from your own 
twin flame from your own higher and bringing that in and a true communion with your twin in other words a true meditation that leaves you feeling as though you are having the deep connection a deep heart connection with your twin now that's a lot that is a lot so the part three is going to be the 28th at 5 p.m the 5th at 8 a.m and the 6th at 8 30 a.m and I will be talking about your houses of abundance why and where what it is because there are several areas you are intended to have your flow especially if you have children now when we talk about reproductive areas both males and females have reproductive parts of your body even if you've had surgeries to remove the physical parts you have a chakra connection there it's not imaginary it's not phantom okay that is the part of you that is the etheric body that is why people who have a prosthesis feel like they make new neural connections it's through the etheric body so if you want to find out how to do some of this how do you get your connections going how do you get your body really ramped up for the love child you want to create for the family that you have or for the family and children that are already near your union that you have to just still be responsible for because you're not going to abandon your children you're not going to ditch your responsibilities that's is that is disallowed that is a thing of the past where people can shirk their responsibilities pretend they don't see it ignore avoid and you will even see changes in people that you thought might never change but where it starts is with you when you start to make these transformations in your houses of abundance it does have a ripple effect it's not that it doesn't do you want to know about your mission do you want to know about what it is you want to do some people have a Peter Pan complex and they say I never want to grow up I don't even know what I want to be when I grow up and yet they are of an adult age we all know people like that we all know people that just you know they haven't seemed to found themselves yet okay maybe that's your twin maybe you feel like that's you that's what I teasingly call it the Peter Pan complex but maybe it's just not your time yet maybe you're here to get that flow going in 2018 in the new year maybe you are here to do something really fabulous with the angelic side of you maybe it wasn't time for you to be a human you know and some people you know get together with their twin and they start to find out what their twin does maybe their twin does something very 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 3d does she do something very 3d or has it been helping people what is the mission what is their mission what if they don't know what if what if the real mission is just being one because that's actually the truth so then mission becomes what is the calling of your heart do you know what I feel called to do Ooh, do you know what I feel called to do guess what they just inspired each other but what if you're not together how do you get your inspirations going how do you get it flowing it starts with your houses of abundance and it does start with your connections it continues with the angelic breath and there are things that need to change in your body you can't get angry it's not that you won't feel anger of course you will but some of this needs to be this belief needs to be over okay they may have been past the point of believing I I know in my heart it's you but I don't know what to do that's frequently what people want to tell their twin I don't know what to do well come and find out some of the things to do come and find out quite a bit because I cover quite a bit of ground in my webinars I like to think that they are very good information and feeling okay to me I feel that you have to strike a balance between getting the information 
getting the feeling so you can put it into practical use in your life. Not someone else's life. The mission isn't always out there. Okay, in order for anything to formulate, it involves self. That is one of the things about the law of abundance that is different for twin flames is it's many times looking outer. And there are two of you. There are two of you coming into a huge alignment here. How do you do that? What is the focus for 2018? It is the physical union. It is the union of your union of your union. It is the physical part of your union. There are, and I'm going to just say here, there are people that are together who haven't had the metaphysical things that you might have had. And you see them and you maybe look with envy and, and bitterness and you disappointment and you say, why are they together? And then you look at other people and they may not be where you're going either. And you have to look at yourself and you have to stick to your own story. Because you are detaching from the mind of the collective. That's a lot of the reason why the anger has to be over. It has to. If you have anger, you put up a wall. If she's angry at him, she puts up a wall. And guess what? They can't feel each other. If he gets angry, she gets a stomach ache. That kind of stuff happens between twins. How do you get it gone? So... To sum up, there are several things I have to help you here. Join part two on the 27th, the 28th, or the 30th. Additionally, some things that may help you would be my webinar called Expansion of Love. The full title is Expansion of Love, Erasing the Past. And Universally Free to Fly. Now, some of you are learning to fly again. You may have even felt sensations about this or had wings or felt wings or seen something alluding to it. Universally Free to Fly teaches you a lot about the mental, emotional attachments and detachments from the collective, including sexual, reproductive. And there are things I will be covering um, in this about your houses of abundance. A lot of people look at, at you know, their life and they say, I, I, I just want to start this, but you're losing the focus of what this really is. You're losing the focus of the togetherness. And if you're putting other things before that, then please don't. Please set that on the side burner. So if you're saying things like, I just want my twin to give me a baby, just put a baby in me. You're losing the focus of maybe your twin has to be ready. How do you help each other get ready? That's where the focus needs to be. So we swing the focus back to where it needs to be, which is the two people actually in it. And those two people can be two other twins. It can be anyone. It could be these two, or it can be, oh look, he has a twin, and there's another twin. And it could be these two. And, you know, they're trying to do that tango, where it's there's a lot of tension there, okay? And how do you get rid of some of this? That is what I walk you through, because like it or not, you are connected to a person. That person is here. And many times going into disbelief doesn't really serve you. What does serve you is get busy knowing, get busy being proactive, get busy for 2018, especially if you sense that you, you're here to do something great, which a lot of people call a mission. I get a lot of questions about that. What is the mission? Okay, first and foremost, it has to be reunification. That's the mission. It has to be you two being in love. If you don't know what that is, what that really means, because some people are saying, 
yeah, I know I love that person, but they rejected me. And, you know, that's it. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. I'm out. Don't be out. Come and find a different angle. Come and find a fresh perspective. Come and find something new because you're new. You're here to be new. You're not here to go through those roller coaster rides of woo hoo woo hoo woo hoo You're done with that. You are feeling it. In fact, it's made you angry, okay? And if you want to be able to do this with a true sense of empowerment, that is what I'm here to teach. I do want to see people together, okay? This is not the Lonely Hearts Club. This is the Cosmic Hearts Club for cosmic level love making. Emphasis on love making. There's a difference between sex and actual love. Do you know some of the other delightful things that will happen? Maybe, maybe not. I talk about that in my webinar. And so, if you'd like to, the links are down below in the description. Join me for part two. Now, one thing to mention about this, even though I'm promoting part two, I already did part one. If you join part two, I give you part one and you get part three. You actually get three of these segments to join. If you can't make it, you get the recording. Maybe you can make the next one for part three. It's included. So if you would like to do this and Yes, there are things that, the, quite a few things I talk about. That's why it's split into three parts. And it's intended to help you seamlessly get into 2018. Because people, there's going to be more. And some people, maybe you feel like you got left at the starting gate. Don't feel like that. That is going to be the time that comes for you. Okay? Nobody has ever lost on this. You might be on a level, you might feel stuck. You know, did you ever see a river and in the river there's like frozen water and there's rocks and something gets hung up on the rocks. Maybe it's stuck, but the current keeps pulling them along. Those are these waves. The waves are waves of love that are emanating from the central sun to carry you along, to not leave people behind. So the things that some people are saying where, well, maybe it's not for this life. I missed out. I'm out of the club. That's not true. That's not true. Nobody has ever lost. In fact, many of you are found and many of you have been part of a mass, massive rescue effort. Okay. And yes, there are, even in the angelic planes, there are first responders. There are people that needed to be rescued. We have an epic story. You have a grand love story. This is the next parts of it. So come on and join. Check it out. I will give you part one. Uh, the links are below or they are on my website. If you need some additional one-on-one -on -one help. I do sessions. I do two other types of sessions. I do in-person body work to get you reconnected and uh, open your channels and a chakra balancing. Okay, you have more than seven chakras. Not only that, there's two of you. How many do you think there are? If you put your seven with the other seven of your twin, that's 14 right there. Okay, so if you start doing the math on what are all your other connections, there, there's a lot of things. Okay, but I like to keep it in the focus that it's to help you really deeply feel each other, be intimate, and be in love. And not lost. Okay, never that. Whatever love you have sent is never lost. It goes exactly where it needs to go. So care for yourself too. You don't go out and date others and come on and join. You will get this. The low price is 40 Okay. I think that's very fair. And if you would like some other additional, the links for these are down below. So if you like these updates, because I will have more, I remind you that we are still in the Uranus retrograde. 
Things are not going to go direct for people until mid to late January. And that means that this is the perfect time to find out about your houses of abundance and about the parts of you if you're struggling with breathing, your hips, pain in the hips, your back, the lower abdomen, your reproductive, the eyes. Come on and join. You'll get a lot of information that is usable for you. Okay? Not just something to get you through the day. A lot of people click on a video and they're like, okay, that'll get me through the day. Get some stuff that is intended to carry you through for a week, a month, that is usable for you in continuation of your own love story. Because it's not just a journey, it's a love story. Okay, thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.